This is amazing grace This is unfailing love That you would take my place That you would bear my cross The phrase better together has been used a lot over the past six months and in the course of this pandemic. And I believe it to be true in many ways, especially when it comes to the Christian life. Community is so essential. And over the past several years, our faith and fellowship small groups have been a source of community to the over 160 people who have participated and a vital source of strength for our Reading Catholic community. What are small groups? They are groups of eight to 10 people who meet on a regular basis to share faith and fellowship for the purpose of deepening their relationship with Jesus and with each other. As we learn from the Acts of the Apostles, the Christian life is not meant to be lived alone, but in community. We need each other. We learn from listening and sharing with others. We deepen our bonds by serving and supporting one another. I appreciate that many of us have felt the effect of isolation caused by the pandemic. I know for myself that this isolation has created a certain sense of complacency that is not healthy for my spiritual life. And I am so excited to be returning to my small group and I'm encouraging others to do the same. Small groups will meet via Zoom or in person with appropriate social distance and use of masks. Several groups have already done so with great success. If you are not currently in a small group, but are curious to learn more, please join us for our Faith and Fellowship Celebration, which will take place via Zoom on October 18th at 6.30 p.m. Come and see what Faith and Fellowship is all about and enjoy some prayer, music, and faith sharing. Please see the website in this email for more information and to receive access to the Zoom gathering. If you are not familiar with Zoom, just let us know and we'll be happy to get you oriented. Thanks for listening, and I really hope to see you at our Faith and Fellowship opening celebration. Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me.